everyone welcome back to another video i hope you've been doing so very well for today's video i just decided to document what i eat in a week as a vegan when i am pretty busy and social and doing a lot of work basically to just show you uh what i realistically eat in a week as a vegan i hope this video gives you some inspiration about what to cook in the kitchen if you are vegan or considering trying a vegan diet and if you're ever after any more inspiration you can follow me on the gram where i post lots of recipes and food inspiration and all of that good stuff anyway let's get into the video this is what i eat in a week as a vegan and i hope you enjoy it <laughs> It's like 7.25 a.m. right now and I am about to start work for the day. As you would have seen, I had a like smoothie frappe kind of vibe this morning. My body is very, very used to eating really early in the morning just because I start work really early most mornings. So my body, my body is just really used to it these days. So I usually like to wake up before I start work and make time to have breakfast because if I don't make time to have breakfast before work, then it's just, it's just not a good time. Um, and because I work in the hospitality industry, it's really important for me to nourish my body before I am going to be on my feet all day. So. Had a smoothie this morning, don't know what I'm gonna eat for lunch at work today yet, but we will see. And yeah, I need to start my shift, so let's go into work and uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I am having my lunch. So today at 11.30 a.m. I had my lunch break and I had a lentil sausage roll as well as some pesto pasta salad which kept me nice and full and nourished until I got home from work at about 3 p.m. and Kara and I shared this bag of protein balls. These are my favorite and you can get them from the supermarket here in Australia. After that though, I was still feeling a little bit hungry so I had another peanut butter chalk smoothie which you will notice are a very, very uh, common theme in this video. I drink a lot of peanut butter and cacao smoothies. For dinner though, I made myself a burrito bowl and I first started with some lettuce and then added some brown rice black beans, roasted cauliflower, as well as some homemade pineapple salsa, some charred corn, a homemade cheesy sauce, and then I sprinkled some pumpkin seeds on top, as well as adding some fresh lime and fresh coriander. And this was delish. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Tuesday. It is currently 11.15 a.m. and I am having my first meal for the day. This is pretty uncommon for me but this morning oh hello tiger today i started work at 6 a.m and usually i would eat beforehand however i was running really really late today so i didn't get the chance to eat so i'm only now eating now <laughs> that i am home from work so i'm just having myself a big acai bowl. I don't have any fresh fruit in the house right now to put on top so I just have some coconut yogurt and some peanut butter and granola on top and that is going to be my very very uh, late breakfast this morning. So at 12 p.m. today I was still feeling a little bit hungry and I wanted to try one of these choc hazelnut milks which was so delicious and then after that at 6 p.m. after I went for a nice big walk I made some homemade pizzas. These just had some roasted sweet potato, tomato, kale, all the good stuff. Then that night at 8.30 p.m. I had plans to go and get a vegan grazing cheese board with my friend Ollie, which was so delicious. Oh 
On a very rainy Wednesday, I was feeling a savory big brekkie, so I just had some sourdough toast with some sauteed kale as well as some roasted tomatoes and some chickpea tempeh, which kept me nice and nourished while I was at work. And then after work, I had a cold pressed juice, which was pineapple, lime, apple, and blue spirulina. And then after that, I was feeling still like a peanut butter chocolate smoothie because I hadn't had one that day. So I made another peanut butter and chocolate smoothie. I made enough for Kara and I both to have one as a little afternoon treat, which was a uh, very delicious food shared with ones you love is one of my favorite things in the world and then after that i went to my friend's house for dinner and bonnie made us a beautiful mac and cheese with coconut bacon and we had it with some kombucha and oh my gosh it was divine moving on to thursday and i started my day by having a little muffin and drink with my friends i had a choc chip muffin as well as an iced chocolate and then after that at 11 a.m i was very ready for something savory so i just had two pieces of sourdough toast with half of an avocado on with like some lemon and some salt and some pepper mixed through it was uh, very, very delicious. So today's day of eating is a little bit different and this is because of what I do for work. So as some of you who follow me may know, I work in the hospitality industry and I also do YouTube and Instagram social media stuff on the side. And recently I have started also helping out hospitality businesses with their social media presence and shooting content for them and things like that. So today I have a few hours of work this afternoon. I'm going into one of my favorite vegan restaurants here on the Gold Coast called I Like Ramen. I will link it down below in case you want to check it out. I am going in to take some photos of their whole menu today. So that means that I'm going to be eating quite a lot of Asian cuisine this afternoon. So I've left myself a lot of room in my stomach because I know that I'm going to be eating a lot and that's going to be a part of work today. What an absolute blessing of a job, I must say. So yeah, that's what I'm doing this afternoon and I will, yeah, I'll show you all of the food that I am taking photos of and also eating little bits of this afternoon. <laughs> week in my life in general has been so overwhelmingly busy and honestly as you can probably tell uh, my food this week has been kind of all over the place but this is just um, a realistic week in my life of eating. Last night after I finished up shooting at I Like Ramen I just went to my friend Sophie's house for dinner and we literally just had hot chips like from a chip shop for dinner and then we had iced chocolates for dessert. I completely forgot to film but that is what we ate and then this morning I was also in a rush to get to an appointment so I just made my classic peanut butter cacao smoothie frappe thing uh, to take with me on the drive there. So that is what, uh, yeah, that is what I have been eating lately. However, it is now lunchtime on Friday and I finally feels like I've got a moment to like breathe and pour some energy into my food. So I'm just going to make some barbecue jackfruit tacos for lunch right now and yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to them. So I am in the kitchen right now and I am making some barbecue jackfruit tacos for Cara and I to have for lunch today. I have some corn, which is charring just here. And then here I am cooking some barbecue jackfruit. This is the, oops. This is the uh, barbecue jackfruit that I use. It's tender jerk by Amazonia and I do have a discount code for Amazonia. So I will leave it on the screen in case you want to try any of their products. Then I've also made a whole bunch of guacamole and I'm going to chop up some lettuce and some other fun things to put on our tacos. So this is my delicious lunch 
of barbecue jackfruit tacos with corn, guacamole, coriander, and some fresh lime to squeeze over the top. On the way to my friend's house for dinner tonight, I had some peanut butter and cacao protein balls. And then once I got to my friend's house, I had some takeaway, which was some Malaysian style hockey and noodles with some roti bread. So this morning, once again, I had work and I started work this morning at 6.30 a.m. and was up early enough to make myself a smoothie to take on the go with me to work. As I've mentioned in this video, I like to start my day with a smoothie before I'm starting work if I have the time. Usually I would have a lunch break at work and I would eat when I was at work. However, today was so busy, such a busy day that I didn't get the chance to have a break on my shift. So I've just got home from work. It is 2.30 p.m. So I haven't eaten for like eight hours, um, which is <laughs> very out of character for me. So I have just made myself some lunch. Here I just have two pieces of sourdough with avocado as well as some sauteed kale and some lemon. This is a very, very typical lunch for me. I eat avo toast with greens and sometimes with tempeh a lot because it makes me feel really good. And I think that's something important to note. Like for me personally, I feel really good when I eat like avocado on toast with greens and with tempeh. It's something that makes me feel my best. Same as starting my day with a peanut butter cacao smoothie makes me feel my best. Um, and yeah, I think it's important to note like everyone feels different on different foods and it's just important to you know figure out what you like to be vegan you don't have to eat the way i eat or like any other vegan eats you can just eat um intuitively and what feels good to you your taste buds and your body so anyway i am understandably very hungry right now so i'm gonna get into my lunch and i will catch up with you guys when i presumably make a sweet afternoon snack okay let's try and find some good lighting in my house right now okay that's not too bad <laughs> so right now it is about 6 p.m and i have started cooking my dinner i am roasting some sweet potatoes in the oven Ooh. i'm roasting some sweet potatoes with the intention of making a nourish bowl for dinner tonight i've had a really 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 big day and so i'm going to make a uh, hearty meal even though i do feel really tired and like i could go some takeaway um i'm trying to remind myself that pouring love into my food is essentially pouring love into myself um anyway as you guys may know and may have picked up on in this what i eat in a week video i really like to have like a sweet snack before i have dinner like in between lunch and dinner and when i went to the supermarket today i was reminded of one of my favorite products in the world so if you're in australia you might know about this this is a vegan brownie that is from woolworths which is one of the major supermarket chains here in australia recently supermarket chains here have just been coming out with so many vegan products we are very very blessed because it is so convenient to be vegan in australia like so convenient i'm going to snap on some of that now and then i am going to get into cooking the rest of my nourish bowl for dinner okay so dinner tonight is ready and we have a very very full and delicious nourish bowl nourish bowls are one of my favorite things to eat because honestly you can just basically put all of the nourishment that you like into a bowl call it a nourish bowl and then eat it this one just has crispy kale some cos lettuce roasted sweet potato broccoli chickpea tempeh avocado and pumpkin seeds and this is yeah this is a meal that makes me feel really good and really nourished and really full and is a really good way to end the day.
Good morning my friends and welcome to Sunday. Today is the last day in this what I eat in a week video and it is like 7am right now. I have to start work in about an hour so I decided to get out of bed early and to make myself some breakfast before I go and work on my feet all day. So for breakfast this morning I am having a choc peanut butter smoothie bowl. It is just a blend of cacao, peanut butter, almond milk, bananas and vanilla protein. I put some granola and some strawberries on top and yeah that is going to be my breakfast this morning. I also just made myself a little vitamin C drink. I made it with just some water and some uh, Amazonia vitamin C. This is one of my favorite products and yeah it's a really nice way to start my day. At work on Sunday, I had my break at 11.30 a.m. and I had some toast with some avocado as well as kale and some chickpea tempeh. This is one of my favorite nourishing meals to have. And then once I got home from work, I had the other half of my Woolworths chocolate brownie, which is so delicious. It's my absolute favorite and it was a really nice sweet treat to have. And then that evening I made a barbecue jackfruit burger. It's kind of like a summer burger, very fresh. I first put some vegan mayo as well as some Coles lettuce, then the smoky barbecue tender jack by Amazonia, some vegan coleslaw, guacamole and the bun on top and that was my dinner on Sunday. Alrighty guys so that was everything that I ate in a week as a vegan. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe. I love you so very much. Thank you for being here as always and I will see you really soon for another video. Have a good day!